This bridge represents the start of a long journey. We're crossing bridges to a new world. Today, we're plugged in to the walls of a gymnasium at a high school. Working hard on the blog and really tired, really, really tired. Dreaming about living in sustainable community someday in a cob house with a big thing of lemonade and, <laughs> and a garden out front for easy pickings and a big fluffy bed for a good night's sleep every night. Oh, and a warm fire and lots of friends about. What is sustainable community? Two very important ideas kind of woven together as one. Community is something we have whether we like it or not. We have the community of our office job or our neighborhood where we don't know our, our next door neighbor's name, or we have the community where we know all of our neighbors and we see each other often. Sustainable is almost like an ideal. When you put community into that, it's about a community where the, the group has decided to live in these ways and aspire to these ideals. It's a place where all of us can live our values. A place of unification or of, of synergy that everyone feels a part of rather than somebody wins and somebody loses. It's just, it's sort of about the quest for utopia, really. Bringing questions about what makes a human being happy to the forefront and saying let us structure our society around that. And it's about land not being private, it's about land being a collective space. Being around people who are loving and they're compassionate. A group of people living simply. People growing food together. Living with each other, sharing resources. Sustainable technologies, sustainable buildings. So what it comes down to is organizing humans harmoniously to be able to kind of work with all of those resources and create something beautiful. We found a website where we learned there are thousands of people living this way all over the world. So we started making plans to visit communities in the United States. What makes this house um, like a community? People that decide to live here uh, usually have uh, common goals or interests. Uh, interest in politics, uh, interest in worldly events, interest in sustainability. How would, how would a, a facility look that sort of demonstrated how all these different systems of human life can interact with each other, mutually benefit each other um, in such a way that is like beyond sustainable. So we have so the cool. upstairs shower and sink feeds into this pond and we have a number of uh, uh, aquatic plants um, we've, with bacteria in the root systems that, that bioremediate the water, sort of clean it up a little bit and then we pump it out um, to irrigate the landscape with it. I feel that this community just in general looks towards sustainability but in itself is already sustainable in that we are a much smaller footprint than a normal house would be uh, if we were living in smaller groups, maybe three or four to a house, we cover up pretty much this whole block. And if you figured that if every single one of us had our own apartment, that'd be 29 refrigerators, 29 washing machines, 29 couches, 29 everything. 